43 optional items you need to write a book with your kids and one requirement. How do you write a book together with your kids? The thought is, the question has probably not crossed your mind terribly often, but I'm going to pose it to you tonight. I'm Bradley Charbonneau. Welcome fellow Toastmasters and guests. And tonight I am going to solve that puzzle that you've been worried about for so long. How do I write a book together with my kids? We have seven minutes. I will show you. Tonight I will go through the step-by-step -step process of all 43 items you need to get your experiment done. It's not really going to work. Why don't I just highlight a few of them? So my goal of the experiment is to take a month and work together with your child or a neighbor's child or a random orphan on the street and work together to build something from nothing. First you had nothing, then you have something. You have a book, for example. So I did this together with my sons in March of 2014. I have been asked since then by parents, how did you do it? How did you get your kid to finish the project? That's what we're going to go through tonight. Here we go. 43 steps. Step one. No, forget step one. What we really need are, is pen and paper. Pen and paper. Definitely, definitely need pen and paper. Move down the list. I mean, I'll just highlight a few um, uh, chips. Chips, you'll, you, I, I, I might have repeated it a few times, but chips are crucial. Crucial to the success of, of pretty much any project together with your kid because chips provide a break chips provide a snack chips provide a reward and so chips can be doled out at uh, constant intervals over the life of the project and you will see much better results and more return on your investment so chips Chip, speaking of the break time here we have the, the number hoople to put the Pomodoro timer. Pomodoro timer is very helpful. It comes from a Pomodoro method, which is work for 25 minutes and take a five minute break. Now we found that the inverse works better with uh, five minutes of work and 25 minutes of play. So I suggest you balance that as best works with your, with your team. I am a child. Here we go. Uh, let's see what else we have. We got pen, notebook, got that, paper, uh, a cell phone or some sort of recording device because it's good to record the moments for posterity's sake. Keep those for later. Uh, let's see. Got the microphone, got that, got the, um, maybe I'll go through a couple more when I find my list better. And then let's see, but uh, now that we've gone through the list a little bit more, I, I, I should, I'm probably running out of time. I should really just get down to the one necessary element to create a experiment together with your kids. Now, now you you might think, well, I, I have plenty of that. Of course I of course I have that. I don't I don't need that element. I, I have that in spades. It's it's flowing out of me. I have a ton. And that's fine. And that's fine. But maybe you're on the other end where you think, well, I I, I should have that piece, but I, I I don't. And I think my child does, but I'm not sure. We talk about it sometimes. I don't know, or, or you're somewhere in the middle. So you're, you're going to have to go with me here. You're going to have to believe me from experience. But I found that after studying for four years, these 43 elements, the one we need most is, um, is number 17. Now, I, I, I hear you. I hear you. I'm an author. I, I write pens, papers, books, uh, computers, uh, uh, keyboards and I make it all work, but do I have any number 17? Well, I, I probably do, but we're talking about a project together with your children. We need element number 17 to get the project started because you need to want to make it happen. They will probably need, they will probably join in and uh, share at least a fraction of your enthusiasm for the said uh, experiment, but we need this element to spark the fire. Now I know I often get when I do this presentation, I often get that people really like number number 27, which is imagination. But once you spark that flame, once you crack open that little egg and see what's inside, the imagination 
is just, it's, it's, it can be overwhelming, folks. Uh, it, can, it can overwhelm your mind. In fact, you think that that ball there, that circle there, is just gonna take over, and that's the big thing we need. But it turns out we have plenty of that. They can just give and give and give imagination. What they do have also, in even more abundance, is love. However, love is a reciprocal element. That's a little tricky one with number 17, is that it goes and comes both ways, and it needs each other, it needs one another to build on itself and to grow. So you need to start by offering some 17. They will reciprocate automatically because it is just in their nature of their young, innocent, and naive hearts to love unconditionally, which is exactly we are loving unconditionally to get this experiment done, to create something from nothing together with this kid, because what are we creating? It is not in the end a book. At the end of the day, it looks like a book. It has paper, it has words in there. But what we have created is a time capsule. And this time capsule captures that moment in time when you did this project together with your kid. And what is in there, and this one is a little, Hard to imagine, got to borrow some imagination from the kids here, but it's love. We have created a time capsule of love at that moment in your life. For me, my boys were 8 and 10. Today my boys are now 13 and 15. That moment is a lifetime away from this moment. That moment captured the essence of the time in that moment, and it exists today. That was love then. That love has expanded and contracted and expanded and contracted and grown and shrunk until it is what it, it became today. But what we need is that spark of love to spark their love, because once they see your love coming into them, they will shower you with endless love. And that is what will fuel this fire, this warm bonfire of a project where we will create something from nothing together with a child. I'm gonna stop, I don't know how many minutes that is.